to the people of family where the dog eat the grass. Huge big grass were everywhere in the city. In the houses, kitchens, inns, cars, and babies. Course, life had become tough, and despite many complaints to the mayor, he was not able to find a solution. He got cats, but the rats were so many and so big that the cats were afraid of them. Can you imagine the poor people's desperation? And then one fine day. A strange tall man dressed in a colorful costume and a peaked head hat with a cloth arrived. I can get rid of all the rats, he told the mayor. The mayor was delighted. If you do so, I will give you 10,000 gold coins, he said. The man agreed and stepped out. He played a strange mesmerizing tune on his flute. The citizens were surprised to see hundreds and hundreds of rats streaming out of homes, offices, inns, straight towards the magical sound. The streets were black with rats of all sizes and people leapt out of their way. The fiber turned and led the rats straight into the sea. They followed him right into the waves and were drowned. But when he went to the mayor to collect his reward, the mayor went back on this world and offered him only 500 gold coins. The pipe fiber turned on his wheel, went out this time. When he played the play, children of all ages stepped out and followed him. And in the blink of an eye, the pipe fiber and the children disappeared behind a mountain. After a while, returned but he was alone. The parents wept and made the mayor apologize and promised to pay the Piped fiber, the 10,000 gold coins. The fiber disappeared again and when he returned after a few hours, the children were following him. The mayor had learned this lesson and he paid the amount he had promised. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.